In this video I'm going to give you an overview of Magento 2's indexing and how to manually re-index your site. Hi, I'm Rebecca Trough from Magento and I've teamed up with OS Training to bring you some quick Magento 2 tutorials. So I'm going to stand here and I'm going to show you clips of what I'm talking about here to re-index your Magento 2 site along with many other index management tasks you're going to need to log into your server with a user that has the permissions to write to the Magento file system. And to run Magento commands from any directory, you're going to need to add this to your system path. Or you can run commands like this. OK, so to manually re-index all of the indexers, you're going to need to run the command Magento indexer colon reindex. Or you can run them individually by running Magento indexer colon reindex followed by the indexer's code. And if you don't know the indexer's code, you can get them by running magento indexer colon info. Boom! What else can you do, you ask? You can view the status of all indexers or individual ones by running magento indexer colon status and either followed by the indexer code or not. And you can view the indexer's current configuration. Now indexers can have one of two configurations, either update on save or real time, where index data is updated as soon as a change is made in the admin. This is the default. Or update by schedule, where index data is updated according to a schedule set out by your Magento's cron job. To view an indexer's current configuration, enter Magento indexer colon show hyphen mode followed by the indexer code. Or leave off the index code to see them all. To update and specify the indexer's configuration, you need to enter Magento indexer colon set hyphen mode, then either real time or schedule followed by the indexer code. Okay, so what if you don't have access to the server and just the admin panel? Well, if your indexes are all set to update on save and your cron, which is something that enables users to schedule jobs to run periodically, is set up correctly, then this shouldn't be a problem. But it is worth knowing the triggers for the different indexes, and you can find these out by going to the Magento user guide under Operations, System, Tools, Index Trigger Events. So why do you even need to know all of this? What does Magento use indexes for? Well, Magento has an extremely sophisticated and complex architecture, so complex in fact that it can't even look at it all at once. It stores lots of merchant data, including catalogue data, prices, users, stores, etc. in many database tables. Now in order to optimise the performance on the front end, it hoards all of that data into special indexer tables. Hoarding is actually a really good way to think about it that Magento is just a massive hoarder and it's hoarding all of your data in its special hoarder tables. Now let's say for an example you change uh, the price of a product from $3.99 to $4.99. Magento then has to go and fetch that new data and place it neatly with all of your other hoarded data in its hoarded tables, aka re-index the price so that it will show on the storefront. And now you're even more confused about indexing aren't you? Basically, without indexing, Magento would have to calculate the price of products on the fly, taking into account shopping cart price rules, bundled prices, tiered pricing, discounts, just everything that could affect the price. And it would just be really, really slow. And customers just aren't willing to wait. They just want to know how much it is right now so they can make the decision. And that's what Magento does with indexing. It has the data ready for them right now. We hope you enjoyed this video on index management and if you have any questions please do put them below and we'll get back to you and also use the comments to let us know what you want to learn next. Mm -hmm.